This is where it all began, October 14, 1996, near Fethiye, Turkey. There are no roads here. Equipment, crew, actors had to be ferried in by air and by boat. Director Andrei Konchalovsky chose this remote location because of its extraordinary beauty, because it's never been used in a film before, and because it's in a part of the Mediterranean where events recounted in Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey, actually happened. 2,700 years ago. The Odyssey begins with the birth of Telemachus, son of Odysseus, the king of Ithaca, and his wife Penelope, the queen. <laughs> On the same day Telemachus is born, Odysseus receives a call to battle to the city of Troy. Set the sail! The war lasts for 10 long, bloody years. Odysseus finally wins when he conjures up a brilliant scheme to infiltrate the enemy lines. Thus was born the Trojan horse. Do you see, you gods of sea and sky? I conquered Troy! Me, Odysseus, a mortal man of flesh and blood and bone and mind! I have a mind! I no longer need you now. I can do anything. The arrogance of Odysseus in the face of the gods exacts a terrible toll. Poseidon, the god of the sea, condemns Odysseus to a life of hell on earth. He and his men encountered nightmare after nightmare. Will they never get home to Ithaca to their families? Will Odysseus never again see his beloved Penelope and his son Telemachus? Those are the questions at the core of Homer's timeless odyssey. Andre transposed it and made it into a, a movie. And what we do in this film is not Homer's The Odyssey as a meditative, complex, religious doctrine piece that you study for your lifetime. We do it as pure entertainment. So we pick the adventures of Odysseus and we, we try to turn them into something that's uh, hopefully entertaining, at times amusing. But basically, um, what Homer wrote, but as entertainment. Yes, right away. No, up to this, right away up. <laughs> the Odyssey is chock full of pure entertainment, all of it carefully orchestrated by Andrei Konchalovsky. He is the definition of a hands on director. Don't fix it. Yeah, once, yeah, let me once. This is Andre Kotlowski. He is now going to show you the same action. You shouldn't. You, uh, you shouldn't just do that. You're chopping. You should. Uh, it looks like you're chopping here the air. Instead of chopping here the air, try to sli slice the air like this. Down. So you do that and then down. If you do like this, I see that you're just chopping the air. See what I said? Andrei Konchalovsky was born in Russia and trained as a pianist at the Moscow Conservatory. He directed his first feature film in 1965. Films since then have included Tango and Cash and Runaway Train. Virtually all the lead actors in the Odyssey say they joined the project because of Andrei Konchalovsky. It's clear they revere the man from Moscow. It's quite wonderful to work with Andre because uh, he has an incredible, it seems to me that he has an incredible range of technique. 
having worked in Russia and France and Europe and in America, um, he directs you in a very eclectic way. Um, but it's quite pleasant and you can learn a lot from him and I really enjoyed being directed by him. I, I have to say, I have to confess, that uh, Andre is probably the first and only director I have put my total trust in because he is a uh, magician of emotions. He, he understands the emotional riverbed of a story and he translates it into his heart. And you, when you work with a man who has translated something into his heart, he gives you his heart. And we sometimes never agreed on the script. Sometimes we'd never agree on the interpretation of things. But one thing I always agreed on was his heart. And, and when, you, when you bring him something, he might say, no, I don't like it, not like that, I want this. So there's no point getting too precious about your preparation, um, I feel. With him, it's better to, to arrive on the set without any preconceptions, without any plans of what I'm going to do, of uh, what I feel about the character, but to be more open and malleable, because he will tell me exactly what he wants. Uh, not this. Lower. Yes, and this, yeah. Family. The scene in the Odyssey that Greta Skaki believes best illustrates the sensitivity of Andrei Konjalovsky is one in which Irene Pappas, who plays the mother of Odysseus, decides to commit suicide by drowning. Greta Skaki, Penelope, tries unsuccessfully to stop her. You're not only the mother of my husband, you're my mother, you're my father, you're my friend. <laughs> All of a sudden, get very cold, very cold. Yes, yes. No tears. I'm very caring, and they feel that I, I'm caring, and they, um, I would say they forgive me, my rudeness, because I'm, quite, I'm Russian, and I can, I'm, I, I'm not a reserved man. I'm very, quite um, extrovert, and, and I can scream and shout and behave like mad Russian, but they forgive me because they love me, uh, because, and they love me because I love them. It's, it's reciprocal. I fought long enough. Oh, no. Your destiny is to do battle, to become immortal, to have your name on the lips of endless generations. No. I have no need to be remembered by endless generations. What this is. You cannot lie to me. I know your true character. Andrei Konchalovsky didn't just direct the Odyssey. He also co-wrote the script. The goddess Athena, played by Isabella Rossellini, is one of the characters he had the most fun with. Well, I, I, I think that uh, the script wanted to underline the humor of the gods, of the Greek gods, because the Greek gods, they weren't like the gods we pray today. They were much more human and much more in competition. Um, and I think Andre wanted me to play very much Athena, uh, sly, intelligent, wise, but also like... Uh, like a puppeteer with puppets, you know, they are amused at seeing the emotion of humans, you know, they are above it, and they say, you, now you fall in love with that, oh, a war would start. 
and now or let him die oh so sad you know it's a little bit they are a little bit cruel and a little bit comical <laughs> at the same time so. There's a lot of comedy in the Odyssey, including what a vengeful god does to one of Odysseus's warriors. She turns him into a pig, a pig that can talk thanks to the Jim Henson creature shop. Look at me, you idiot! Filming the real pig was an exercise in unintentional hilarity. <laughs> Um, first of all, you can't, we couldn't uh, fly the pigs by uh, Turkish Airlines because they wouldn't handle the pigs. So we had to take them through uh, British Airways, which fl only fly to Istanbul. Artists and technicians at the Jim Henson Creature Shop in London created several animatronic objects for the Odyssey, including a very hungry sea monster. They also created the head of the Cyclops. This one-eyed technical marvel, when placed over the head of a real-life sumo wrestler, becomes one of the great mythic creatures of all time. My name is nobody. Nobody. Oh, all right, nobody. In the morning, you will tell me more secrets after I eat. The Odyssey filmed on location in Turkey for five weeks. The entire 200-person cast and crew was then airlifted to Malta. That's where many of the largest, most complex scenes were filmed, including the Battle of Troy. Malta was also home to the Trojan horse. The horse itself, more than 60 feet high, was built first in England, then taken apart and shipped to Malta, where it was reassembled for the film. The, the idea was to get away from a, a horse looking like it had been built by a joinery company and more like possibly built by sort of shipwrights on a beach in 1200 BC. So. That's, uh, so the, the scheme is that it was built out of boats. The ships used in the Odyssey were also built in England and then trucked overland to the Mediterranean. It was in a huge man-made tank in Malta where the dramatic storm at sea scenes were filmed. Giant fans created powerful winds. Massive water chutes created huge waves. On a per hour basis, the Odyssey is the most expensive drama ever created for television. We have 200 people working on this movie. Most of them had to come from America, England, Canada, Israel, all over the place. But you know, what price glory, to do it right and not in a studio, where most American production companies would do it. Uh, I think it'll be worthwhile when the people are gonna see this, they will see something very special. The extensive and expensive special effects used in the Odyssey account for many of the $40 million spent on the production. The computer-generated effects were produced in England. After Turkey and Malta, the Odyssey production team moved to Shepperton Studios, just outside London. The company took over five huge sound stages. Many of the film's interior scenes were shot at Shepperton. On the surface, working on the Odyssey looks like a dream come true. In some ways, it was. But at the same time, it was very hard work. 
Filming lasted for 100 days. Everybody got sick. One day in Malta, the company nurse treated 115 members of the cast and crew. Armand de Sante was hit four times with what came to be known as the Odyssey flu. He went to the hospital with pneumonia when the picture wrapped. The work itself, uh, yeah, we all put in six days a week, about 70 and 90 hours a week. Uh, at times, uh, it's physically grueling work. But uh, I think at the end of every day, we, we had a smile on our face in the sense that we all felt very privileged to be doing this. Over the past 2,700 years, Many scholars have devoted their lives to studying the Odyssey. It is full of metaphor and meaning. But it's also the stuff out of which pure entertainment is made. And that's what Andrei Konchalovsky hopes viewers will respond to. If you will say, you know, I saw this film, you know, and it's, it's great. And every, someone asks, what is that about? He says, it's about the guy who was lost in the sea and had some interesting encounters. I just like it. And why he likes it? I don't care, it's not important. What's important that he, he got a, a portion of emotion. <laughs> That's, I think, the most important thing for me is if they're just, they have a good time. And I would like to have my, my own. When I'm shooting, I have, I'm having a good time. Life is too short to suffer.